How you doing? My name is Antonio from Unapologetically Black, ADOS, on YouTube. I ask that you like and subscribe to the page. Uh, I would like for us to understand that while America is talking about two-tier legal system, America has a two-tier system on everything when it comes to black versus white. When it comes to the reporting of crime, America has a two-tier system when it comes to the media. A prosecutor openly prosecuting an individual decides to engage in sexual contact with this person and promise the individual leniency. Let's put it up full mass. According to the allegations, that's exactly what a prosecutor promised in Wisconsin. You're looking at Daniel Steffen. Daniel Steffen. See, American media selectively decides which stories they choose to amplify. And overwhelmingly, the stories they choose to amplify is those that involve black uh, uh, assailants. While whites might commit more horrific crimes or crimes that are more threatening to our democracy, they will choose to overlook those uh, uh, those stories. When you're talking about a prosecutor using his authority, right, over others in order to force sex up out of a woman, this is a horrific crime, and this is a situation where, uh, this is a situation where we can clearly see ramifications of slavery throughout the uh, judicial system. What do you mean when you say that? I mean that, what do you think, why do you think those black women had sex with those white slave masters to prevent penalties, to prevent lashing? So when these Europeans have the ability to come in your community and to prosecute your women your children and to use that as leverage over their head right then your women are vulnerable to being sexually exploited by the authorities but this is being overlooked Stefan winks at a camera in secret sex tapes with the woman he was prosecuting. Hell of a background. Daniel Stephan, 52 years of age, was an assistant district attorney in Burnett County. This was in Wisconsin during his crimes. He was heard in at least one of the recordings promising leniency in an exchange for sex, according to the criminal complaint. While the defendant and victim number one are still engaged in sex, the defendant looks at the camera sticks his tongue out and winks several times and can be heard repeatedly telling the victim who's in charge, the complaint said. That is the issue, is the authority that black people have allowed their oppressors to continue to have over them and their community without any resistance. The fact that they have too much authority in your community leaves you too vulnerable. Leaves your women, your daughters, all too vulnerable to sexual exploitation by these Europeans. And stop acting as if this is not something they've been doing. They've been sexually harassing runaway children, runaway teens. These police officers have been caught on many stings using their authorities to sexualize women or children. Why do why is you black man so comfortable with these Europeans having this authority over your community? The recording from February 11th August 8th, September 11th, 2018. And it does not appear that the victim, that victim number one, knew she was being recorded.
According to the complaint, similar actions were detailed about another victim whom he could avoid, told he could avoid charges for hitting a mailbox. Again, the victim did not know she was being recorded according to the criminal complaint. Victim one. <clears throat> this DA uh, violated the public trust. This DA uh, violated these women in many ways. He illegally, secretly recorded these women uh, committing these sexual acts, which he also uh, forced upon them. You know, so you have to understand that for him to receive 18 months is why Amer why Wisconsin prison system is overwhelmed with blacks. This man received 18 months for two rape charges. Oh, that's only around 12, 13% of the time he was eligible to be sentenced to. The, the crimes carry 10 and a half years. He only got 18 months. This is why your prison system is overwhelmingly African-American in Wisconsin, even though the crime rates doesn't match that. Because even when caught red-handed, and no matter how uh, uh, atrocious the crime is, how much of a violation it was to the public, white people are not held to accountability for their actions. That is not the intent of the legal system. The intent of a, what American judicial system was for the re-enslavement of blacks and to always make sure you stay in your permanent downward caste position. That is the position and the, and the, and, and the uh, uh, mission statement of the media and the judiciary system is to make sure they keep black people in their place, is to make sure they continue to feed a negative image of black people to the media, making it simple and easy for you to constantly be prosecuted and to maintain your lower caste in life. This is what Europeans do. He was sentenced to 18 months in prison after he was convicted in April. He faced a maximum of 10 and a half years behind bars. In addition to his prison time, the prosecutor must serve two years of extended supervision, four years of probation and placement for 10 years in Wisconsin's sex offender registry. Let's put his picture back up again. I want to say this, uh, some people believe 18 months is enough time for a prosecutor who has engaged in such ex extreme behavior, uh, but it is not. This is a sexual intrusion. This is a violation to the utmost. He Wisconsin sex offense. Now we know overwhelming sex offenses are committed by whites. I'm just gonna show you these small little counties. Sex offenses. 15,125. This is the, these, these small little Wisconsin sex offenses. See, this is what they keep quiet from you in Wisconsin. While the prison population overwhelmingly filled with blacks. 3,000 people, 63 rapes. Look at this. This this day little small town. See, hardly no blacks in these towns. See, they're not gonna tell you about this. Eight thousand Rice Lake. Ain't no blacks in Wisconsin. You gotta understand. Two hundred and twelve rapes out of eight thousand population. Let's look at this, they, they, they little small towns. Little counties in, in Wisconsin, we ain't even never heard of. 
See, this is what they keep quiet. All these rapes, 121 rapes. Only 14,000 people in the city. Lake Hill, 7,000 people, 40 rapes. I don't even know what the throp I aggravated assault. A lot of them sexual offenses end up being for them whites being aggravated assault too. Don't don't forget that. That's what I mean by whites leading the crimes. Remember this. However, blacks overwhelmingly fill the prison system. This is why the lenience on European sentencing for the crimes they commit. White people fail to focus on the crimes the Europeans commit, and they fail to hold white people accountable for their crimes. White people overwhelmingly commit majority of the crimes in Wisconsin. All in blue. You see that? 